Hello, this is David Hilscher. I am a critical thinker. I am a dissident scientist. I'm here to tell you the truth about science, something your university professors won't tell you, the mass media won't tell you, and certainly those science evangelists won't tell you. Today I was given a question by one of my subscribers and a link that said, hey, first speed of gravity measurement revealed. And he says, could you please comment on this? And I am going to do that. So let's take a look at this. The first speed of gravity a measurement of gravity revealed. This is from 2003, I believe. Let's go to the more uh, giant version, which I usually try to get away because it's a little bit more cluttery. And this is January 2003. Let's see. First, let's just look at the, the title. First speed of gravity measurement revealed. Uh, let's take a look at uh, my father's paper from, uh, what year is his paper from? It is from volume 9. It is from the proceedings in 2012. In 2012, but it refers to a paper about Wang, who does precise measurements of gravity variations during the total solar eclipse. And guess what they discovered? Gravity was at the speed of light. So let's, uh, how do you say, an exaggeration, a lie, um, a not, Wang wasn't officially recognized. They don't do their research. They don't look to see what they say is true. They don't care because all they care about getting you here. Well, there's a lot of what I call red flags about how to get yourself published. And that's one of them to see the first ever. And of course, that's the first thing it says right there for the first time. Gravity is measured for the first time. And of course, the second thing that gets you published in all the is to say Einstein's general relativity is passed with another uh, flying colors. And of course, they say here, we became the first two people to know speed of gravity. <laughs> Ah, there's actually other experiments and other things that went on that if you go back, you can find that, in fact, the speed of gravity is the speed of light. So I do agree with that. My father and I agree with that. But we don't agree that there's person. Einstein wins yet again. Of course, he says it over and over and over. And he adds that, of course, any other result would have been shocking. Yeah, Einstein's right all the time, except for all the times he's wrong, like in GPS where you can't use it and it shows the flaws in it. And then how about the, the uh, particle accelerators where we have particle accelerator experimentalists from Slack saying to us, mass increase is not observed. And oh yeah, how about the, um, the case that from a NASA scientist says we don't see the light bending outside of the corona of the sun. Other than that, it's doing great. All right. So if we look down, Isaac Newton said that the influence of gravity was instantaneous. That's what he said. But of course, Einstein said something that Mr. Um, I'm sorry. Newton said something Einstein didn't say. And I said, don't ever accuse me of knowing what gravity is. So light speed gravity means that the sun has suddenly disappeared from the center of our solar system. The Earth would remain in orbit for about 8.3 minutes. And, and it, that takes the time to, uh, for, for light to travel to the sun. So this is the same thing where my father talks about uh, in his paper about the fact that where we see the sun and where the sun is at the same time are not in the true. And in fact, they're two degrees off. And so that when we see the sun, it's got to be two degrees over. And in fact, the, the tides and everything so to, co uh, coincide with the light coming from the sun, which means it's the speed of gravity. Of course, this paper is called The Wang Eclipse by Robert D. Hilster, a really Really great one of the one of the most I, I admire one of the one of the scientists I admire most even though he's my dad and uh, uh, he uh, uh, talks about this I'll have a, a link to this in a fascinating paper about this so when we go down it says but how do we measure the speed of gravity one way to detect gravitational waves of course we have the LIGO for that and that's already supposedly happened but again LIGO do we know what light is no do we know gravity is it's no even though we know the speed of light they don't have a model for it so what to do when you say that you've detected gravity waves when you don't know anything it means nothing really until you get a model once they have a model and they tell us about it then I can tell you whether or not they supposed gravity waves but in our model we know what a gravity wave would be and of course how that would interact but we have a model, they don't. The standard model, of course, is not model model. Measuring speed of gravity, radio, radio waves from quasars are bent from Jupiter's gravity, or in our case, by some, there's mass around Jupiter, and that is in, this is not empty space, and it comes to the sun, Jupiter moves across the line of sight of the quasar. Gravity waves radiate from Jupiter, and they interact with the radio waves to distort the ring. So that's how they say they get it. Bending waves. Opportunity arose in 2002 when Jupiter passed in front of the quasar that emits bright, uh, bright radio waves. So they did that and they looked 
and they look for gravity that does move at the same speed. For, for, from that, they worked out that gravity does move at the same speed as light. Their actual figure was 0.95 times the speed of light, but that was a large enough error, plus or minus 0.25. Always works out, doesn't it? Um, their result announced Tuesday at a meeting of the American Association Society meeting in, in Seattle, but experts say that the indirect evidence that gravity propagates at the speed of light was already overwhelming. <laughs> it would be revolutionary if gravity measured not to propagate at the speed of light. So, so what, what do you get from an article like this? One of my subscribers asked me. Well, be sure you understand what is being written, that you understand the history between, uh, uh, behind the speed of, of light. Uh, gravity, know what that is, understand how articles get published, why these phrases are put in there, that Einstein's general th th theory of relativity passes with another flying test. Of course, we know that um, there are different explanations for these things, so that's what a critical thinker does when we look at, that's what I do when I look at these articles. So there's some interesting things here. The number one thing is, yes, they say that it's also the speed of light, which we have said too, and we observed in other, uh, and they as they said before, um, overwhelming already. My father wrote a really great uh, paper. Uh, again, I will uh, get you that, uh, put the link inside, of course, this YouTube video. He wrote that in, um, in fact, that was written in what city it says right here? Albuquerque, New Mexico, 2012, when we were still living in California from the MPA. So you may want to take a look at that. Um, it's very important for our particle theory because that's why we say that light is in gravity and electricity, which all travel around the speed of light, are the same particle. And we can say that the difference between light and gravity is light is like a waves of particles. So your shower normally is gravity, pushing, constant push. Your shower on massage is light because it comes in waves, and the waves have frequencies. That's the only difference. That's what my dad discovered, and he basically solved the or wave particle duality, and that was in 2015. So anyways, those are my thoughts of, and what I go through in my head, and um, we'll maybe look at some more in detail about actually some other experiments that show the speed of gravity and the speed of light in fact are c and remember what i say always always don't take what any anybody says on faith read about it like we're reading here you stay critical you stay thinking and i'm your science therapist and i will get you the ability to become a critical thinker just like me uh, i don't know what that means if it's like oh you gotta be like me no you want to become a critical thinker on your own, in your own right. And you cannot believe anything I say as long as you looked at all the evidence and as long as you can argue the arguments and not just say, you're wrong, I'm right, that's the way it goes, done. Because you have to argue what each statement says and have a counter-argument. So when I say it doesn't support Einstein's general theory of relativity, why? Because we can say that, in fact, light waves are bent because of mass that is in space, not because of space, time, whatever the heck that is, of fabric. So again, I'm Dave DeHilster. Ciao for now. Almost forgot how to sign off. Bye-bye. <laughs>